Hey everybody. Um, today I'm going to talk about my medications. Um, I've been asked what I take for this whole transition process. Um, so, I'm going to share with you, and plus the other, some of the other stuff that I take right now too. I'll share that with you too. Um, estradiol. I take three two milligram tablets in the morning, and we all know what that's for. It's the fun stuff. Yes. Then you have to go with that is the spironacol. Not even that hard of a word, honestly. Not a hard word at all. Spiro on o lactone. Spiro. Spironalactone. Spironalactone. It's a hundred milligrams. I cannot talk. I cannot talk at all. Um, spirolactone. Spironalactone. Spiro. Spiro. Lactone. Am I saying that right? I think I'm saying that right. Am I saying that right? I don't know. But it's 100 milligrams each. I take two of these at night before bed because this is the testosterone blocker. And um, my doctor, my endocrinologist said take them before bed because that's when your testosterone comes out and plays. Well, he didn't say it like that, but you know. Um, and then, so back in the day, I had a surgery where there, there was a tonsillectomy. So they took out my tonsils, my adenoids, they shaved off the back of my tongue, they took some of the innards out of my nose. Um, and ever since then, like, that was like the first time like I woke up from that surgery and I was ready to cry because it was like the first time I was able to breathe through my nose freely. And I was so happy, so happy, so happy. But now, um, I actually have problems with allergies, like crazy problems, where my nose feels stuffed sometimes. So I have that, so I have the little allergy tablets, just, you know, whatever. Um, and then, we have my issue with vitamin D that happened. I was prescribed 50,000 units that I was taking twice a week, but then, that prescription ran out and I got right above the, like, the satisfactory point or, well, where it was okay. Um, so my levels are okay. So now I just take a 5,000 unit every night. Yeah, every night. So that's another one. And then the fish oil. Um, I take two of these in the morning, two of these at night. When I first started on my um, estrogen and all that, this whole transition, my my chances for diabetes went really, really high, really quick. Um, so this is beneficial for that. So I listened to my doctor, and I take these now. And uh, then something that I'm very, very happy about. Um, Sugar Bear Hair. I don't know if you've heard of this. I love it. Sugar Bear Hair. Sugar Bear Hair. But it's these little vitamin gummies. Let me hold one up for you. Itty bitty little gummy. But I take two of these at night. I chew them up at night. Um, you're supposed to take two a day, so I do that. But I love these. To go with this, I. Um, I make a hair mask. It has the ingredients are shea butter, coconut oil, almond oil, castor oil, vitamin E oil, rosemary, peppermint, and something else, jagubu or something like that. Jagubu. Um, but yeah, I I do that. I melt the butter with the shea butter with um, the coconut and I let that melt together um, separately I warm up I do not melt uh, I well I don't boil I guess you can't really melt okay anyways so I 
warm up, just warm up, no boiling, um, castor oil and almond oil together, mix that together. Uh, then, you know, you take all of them, you combine them together, you mix it all together, uh, then you add in the vitamin E, the, um, the peppermint, the rosemary, you mix it all together. Um, I'll let it set out for the night, and then I'll put it in the fridge for one day. I'll just put it in the fridge. Um, and then I use it in my hair. And I, I usually, the amount that I make usually lasts like a, a whole month, but I at least put that on my hair at least once a week. So, there you go. Um, hmm. Okay, so, sorry, I had a nice little phone call just now. Um, I got called for an interview. Yay! Um, let's see. I still say um a lot. I need to stop that. But, I, um, so, this YouTube thing, like, I, I like to mess around with it because I'm still new to it. So that's what my last video was, where I had that little snippet that I cut out and put in front of the video, and I don't know, still getting used to it, still doing the video editing, enjoying it. Um, so you know, you might see some weird stuff, just because I enjoy figuring things out. It's um, fun for me. I want to really, really get used to it. I know that uh, YouTube has these classes that I have to take. So I'm going to be doing a lot more of that, which is kind of a pain in the ass. I wonder if I could just do both channels at once. I'm going to try to do both channels at once, even though that, like, the first, this next class, it's like four hours long. <laughs> I don't think you have to do it all at once. I think it's in segments. But, along with my full-time schooling and my full-time work, and then, you know, exercising constantly, I went to the gym this morning, felt amazing. Came home, felt really, really tired all of a sudden. I was in a train, like, this is how I started out my day at work. Um, I started out in a training class for three and a half, four hours. Very, 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 very tiring. Um, wasn't hard, wasn't difficult, I enjoyed it, but not really what I wanted to start doing after I haven't got much sleep. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Um, yeah. So, uh, expect me to be messing around with the youtube -age a little bit. Um, you're gonna see some weird things, like a little, you know, screen transfer, uh, transition. But that's what I think I'm gonna start doing, is just messing with it, with it more. So, you're going to see a lot of my weird stuff that I do, but that's okay, because I have a lot of weird things I do. So, it'll make a good video. But, I guess I'll talk more about the interview thing tomorrow, or whenever the next video I film. Um, but, please, do me a favor, subscribe, like, comment, share, talk about other things. Thank you. Bye.